Hello, geometry students. Here's your lesson for section 10.8, Surface Area and Volume of Spheres. Missy McCarthy, Oakman High School math teacher. In this lesson, you'll learn how to apply the formula um, for volume of a sphere and for surface area of a sphere. All right, so a sphere is nothing more than the locus of all the points in space three-dimensional space um, that are equidistant from a given point. So if you have a given point here and you go out the same distance in every direction from this point, you would create the points on a sphere. In a sphere, the center is right in the middle, that special point. From the center to any point on the sphere, sphere is the radius. The circle that has the center as um, the center of the sphere as the center of the circle is called a great circle. There are many great circles on a sphere. And if you only want to look at half of it, you would call it a hemisphere. So the formulas for the volume and surface area of a sphere are as follows. The surface area of a sphere of radius r, where r is the radius of the great circle, is equal to 4 pi s squared. And the volume of a sphere with the radius of r is v equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. So those are the two formulas that we're focusing on in this particular section. Uh, instead of the joke of the day from the book, I just decided to uh, put this in here because it reminded me of Christian and Nick today, or Christian and Andrew or somebody, I can't remember who it was, that came up to me and asked about a particular problem after they'd done a ton of work. And then I told them, um, you know, that the uh, that they had made a wrong assumption in the very beginning. And so that's probably how they felt like this guy here. So that's my joke of the day. They'll get it. All right, so we're going to try a couple of example problems. We're going to find the measurement and leave our answer in terms of pi. We need to find the diameter of a sphere that has a volume of 36,000 pi cubic centimeters. So we've got our sphere like that. We can find the radius. We know that volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So they told us the volume was 36,000 pi. So we got 36,000 pi equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. So I don't know if you guys remember, but to get rid of that 4 thirds, we should multiply both sides by the reciprocal. Multiply both sides by 3 fourths, and those will cancel. So we've got 3 times the 36,000, and divide that by 4, and we end up with 27,000 pi equals pi r cubed. Divide both sides by pi, and then we get 27,000 equals r cubed. And then we could take the cubed root of both sides or simply ask ourselves, what number would we have to cube multiply times itself three times in order to get 27,000? And that number is 30. So if r equals 30, then that means the diameter is 2 times 30 or 60 centimeters. And that's our final answer. All right, for this one, we're finding the measurement. Again, leaving our answers in terms of pi. And we've got to find the volume of the hemisphere. So we only want half of the volume. So the entire volume, or actually, I'm just going to write the equation with half. I want half of the volume, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So this is, if we were to reduce this fraction, this would be 2 thirds pi r cubed. And now I'm going to plug everything in. We have 2 thirds times pi times 15 cubed. 15 cubed is 3,375. And I'm going to divide that by 3 and then multiply it by 2. So then we get an answer of 2,250 pi cubic meters in this case, meters cubed. So that would be the area of the, or the volume of the hemisphere. All right, so now we're going to find the measurement, again, leaving our answers in terms of pi, the surface area of the sphere with a diameter of 76 centimeters. So if the diameter is 76 centimeters, then that means the radius is half of that. 
so it's going to be 38 centimeters and then the surface area is equal to 4 pi r squared so that's going to be 4 times pi times 38 squared 38 squared times 4 ends up being 5776 pi and our units are centimeters and this is area surface area so square centimeters and then this last one says find the surface area of the sphere with a great circle that has an area of 49 pi well if the great circle has an area of 49 pi and that's the radius of our great circle then that means pi r squared is equal to 49 pi divide both sides by pi and you get r squared is equal to 49 or r is equal to 7 so the radius of this sphere is 7. So if we want to find the surface area, the surface area is equal to 4 times pi times r squared, which is 4 times pi times 49 in this case. And 49 times 4 is 196 pi. And that would be, again, surface area, so square miles in this case. All right, here's the last one. We've got to find the surface area of the and the volume of this composite figure. So for the surface area of this composite figure, we got to find the half of the um, surface area of a sphere, and it looks like the radius of this sphere is 6, and then add it to the lateral area of the cylinder plus the area of one of the bases. So the surface area of the sphere, we only need half of that. So we've got 4 pi r squared, but I only want half of it. So it's really just 2 pi r squared, which is 2 pi times 36, which is 72 pi. Now the um, area for this, I'm going to do the lateral area which is 2 pi r h, which is 2 pi times the radius of 6 times the height of 9. So it's 9 times 6 times 2, or 12 times 9, which is 108 pi. And now lastly, I need the area of this base, which is pi r squared, which is pi times 6 squared, which is 36 pi. So all of those together will give me my surface area. So we've got 72 plus 108 plus 36. And so our surface area is equal to 216 pi square inches. Now we've got to find the volume. So I'm going to do volume in a different color. The volume for this, it's only half of a sphere. So we found in the other um, slide that the volume of a hemisphere is 2 thirds pi r cubed. So it's going to be 2 thirds times pi times 6 cubed. So 6 cubed is 216. And then uh, times 2 divided by 3, that gives us 144 pi cubic inches. Then I've got to find the volume of this cylinder here, which is pi r squared h. So it's pi times 6 squared times 9. So that is 36 times 9, which is 324 pi cubic inches. So the total volume, the volume of the hemisphere plus the volume of the cylinder would be 144 plus 324, which is 468 pi cubic inches. So we found both the surface area and the volume of that composite figure.